have an unreasonable love for tassels, which has never been fulfilled. So now we have fixed this chair and there are strings all along the left hand side and I don't really want a constant reminder that this chair is being held together by these strings. So after I fixed it, I sat on it for a few days because, well not literally but figuratively, because ironically when you have the freedom to do anything you want, in this case of cycling, you end up with so many ideas that you just don't know where to start. So I ended up trying all of them. Even though my style is probably on the simple side and sometimes has been described as understated, I actually love playing around with a bit of avant-garde, at least to start with. To cover these strings up, I think the easiest way is to just wrap something around them. I first tried it with these scrap materials I had lying around. I mean, look at these roughly edges and curves. So much texture. But maybe next time. This seems a bit too impractical and, oh, because I only have enough for one side. So I took loads of photos for memories, but moving on. Next I tried it with some leather strips. I honestly loved how sophisticated this looked, but the leather couldn't lie flat because of how bulgy the strings are underneath. So sadly, this didn't work out. Then I went to my last resort, which is these yarns I have. Great in terms of colour choice, but honestly I feel like it looked a bit basic. I love options at this point. But then, of course, I remember this IKEA chair of cycle, and I still had a reel of hemp rope left over. And it was perfect. It's thick enough to cover the strings on all sides, flexible to not get bumpy and the texture gives it this handcrafted look. So definitely not Ikea. And it'll be matching my other Ikea chairs too. There really is no technique here. I just measured out how much rope I'd need by basically doing it for real for the first few loops. I think I double this length. First thing I did was to tie a simple knot so the rope doesn't go anywhere. And then just looped it around twice and fed it under to keep the loop in place before moving on to the next one. There's a lot to feed through here, but the good thing is, as you go along, the rope gets shorter. And here's what it looks like from the outside. And I thought this was quite a nice angle, so I hope you enjoy this. And you get the idea, I fed the rope under before moving on to the next one. And so on and so on until I got to the end. To make it look more balanced, I thought it looked nice with a big roll of rope at the end, so I measured enough rope to do that. Again, nothing fancy here, I just tied a knot so that it wouldn't come undone. And I've suddenly realised I made this part of the chair thicker, so I didn't know if it would close anymore. Oh yeah, okay, it closes. And I repeated the same for the other side. And that's it. At this point, I could just stop here. It's got that clean and organic look. But I have an unreasonable love for tassels, which has never been fulfilled. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to have tassels. So that's what I did. For the tassels, I went back to the yarns. I would normally default to black, but I wanted to do something different. Okay, maybe not. I still went back to the black yarn. Turns out it's super easy to make tassels. Okay, I always knew it was easy, but I've never made it before because I thought it used a lot of materials for not a lot of games. However, I've had this yarn for like three years and I've not really used them that much, so I might as well make use of them somehow. I digress, but here's how you make tassels. Just get some cardboard, wrap it around a few times. I did 10. To keep it all together, you just tie a piece of string at the top. I double knotted it. And I did this quite long because I want to be able to loop it around the chair and hang it. And to free it, you just cut the bottom part. It's looking so cute already. And the key to getting that tassel look is this next step. You get a small piece of string, you tie it fairly close to the top, and it all bunch up and form that little bulb at the top. I wrapped the loose end around like a scarf and then just tucked the ends in anywhere that it will stay. And that's it, you have a tassel. The first one took me about 4 minutes to make, but then eventually I got it down to 2 minutes. 12 tassels later, and we are ready for the final touches. Everything here is removable, so if I need to tighten the strings, I could. Or if I want to do this properly and replace the wood in the future, I could too. But for now, this is perfect. Maybe a bit Halloween-y, but oh well. <laughs> 